Monday to you. Hello, welcome to this channel. Thank you so much for watching today, for subscribing, commenting, liking, all your support. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. I pray that you are well and that you are in good health. And today is Monday and it's time to pray. I love Mondays because not only is it the beginning of the week, but it's also a reminder of why we need to saturate our week into prayer. But on this particular Monday, we want to pray for the month of June. We want to pray for the month of June. Now, as you know, June is the last month that covers the first half of the year. So we are closing the curtain to the first half of the year as we enter June. So that's already half the year that is going in. As you know, time starts to fly by. The next thing you know, it's Christmas. But I have a word that I want to share with you from the Lord concerning the month of June. This is more of a prophetic word. It's also more of a prophetic prayer that we want to do today. As I was meditating, Lord, what do you want your people to know for the month of June? And the Lord wants to encourage you today for the month of June. This is what the Lord is saying. I will fulfill my word that I've spoken over your life. I will fulfill my word that I've spoken over your life. The month of June is a month of the fulfillment of God's word over your life. There are things that God has spoken over your life. And sometimes we don't know how that word is going to be fulfilled. We look at the physical progress and it doesn't make sense. But this is what the Lord is saying. I will fulfill my word that I've spoken over your life. What is impossible with people, what is impossible with men, I will do. There are things that God is going to begin to open up to you. Make yourself available to those things that the Lord is going to begin to present to you. Ideas is going to begin to present to you in order for the fulfillment of his word to take place. Some of you, the Lord is going to begin to shift you into different seasons in order to fulfill the word that he has spoken. Sometimes it can be a sudden transition a sudden transition or season that will make it conducive for the word of God to spread. That will make it conducive for the word of God to be fulfilled over your life. When you look at the Bible reflection of, of this month of June, it takes us to the book of Esther. We see the fulfillment of God's word over the Jews and God raises up somebody like Mordecai and we see a new decree is being set, it's being written in order for the Jews to defend themselves, to deliver themselves from the hand of their enemy. I believe that this month of June, when you make yourself available to God's instructions, when you make yourself available to God's word, when you make yourself available to God's promise, I believe that he will fulfill the words that he spoke over your life. Today, I want to pray with you. It's a month of fulfillment. It's a month of fulfillment. And you may have certain desires that you have in your heart. But I want you to understand one thing, that when God is fulfilling his word, it's about you understanding who he is in your life. There's a facet of his glory that he wants to reveal in your life, perhaps to show that he's Jehovah Jireh, the, the provider, Jehovah Rophe, the healer. Perhaps he wants to show that he is shalom, he is your peace. Perhaps he wants to show that he is your banner, he is your victory. So there's always a reason why God is fulfilling his word. He wants to reveal his glory. He wants to reveal his mysteries as he begins to do a work in your life. Now, God's word is always in line with his will. God's word is his will. So sometimes we have certain desires in our hearts and you're hearing this word and this, and you're hearing this word and you think, oh, God is going to fulfill my desire. But I want you to check that desire. Is it in line with God's will? We are praying about the fulfillment of God's word. That is according to his good, acceptable and perfect will. So today we want to pray. We just want to pray a prayer of thanksgiving for what God is going to begin to do in your life in the month of June, the fulfillment of his word over your life. Let us pray. Yes, Lord, prasendo kosh kalambri asta serendo. Oh God, honor and glory belong to you. Always honor and glory belong to you, most high God. What an honor, what a privilege to be called your children 
to be called children of the Most High God. And we are covered by you. We are in Christ and we are covered, Almighty God. I thank you for your people that are covered. There's no need to be afraid. There's no need to worry as you fulfill your promise over their lives. As you fulfill your word over their lives, Father, we give thanks in unity for the fulfillment of your word in the month of June. The fulfillment of your promises, O oh God, which are yes and amen in Christ. Father, we give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. I thank you for your children that are even just tuned in and they have certain desires, mighty God. I pray that you reveal by your spirit the fulfillment of those desires according to your will, which is good, acceptable, and perfect. God, I thank you that you have made us people that have choices, people that can make decisions, and you never force your decisions on us. You never force us to do what you want us to do. Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus, that your people have insights into the things that you want them to do, that they understand so that they can welcome your will in their lives. They can welcome the fulfillment of your promises upon their lives. Father, in your word, you said that I know the plans that I have for you, plans that are not evil, plans that are good, a good future and hope. Mighty God, I pray that your people understand those plans. And when they understand, they are able to open their hearts to receive, oh God, your instruction, your direction, and the fulfillment of your word. Mighty God, we give you glory, we give you honor and praise. We thank you for your Holy Spirit who lives in us, who is our teacher, our guide, our helper, our comforter. He is also the one who reveals all things to us. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Oh God, we are full. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for the anointing who is the Holy Spirit who teaches us all things. Father, we give you the glory and the honor and the praise. And I thank you that this month is also a month that you reveal your love. Thank you for revealing your love. Your love that is high, it is long, it is wide. It is deep. That love that does not, that love that we cannot be separated from. Thank you for revealing your love, even in this month of June. The personal love that you have for your people. That they may know that I have a father. That they may know that I have God. That my God is the great I am. That he's sovereign. That he's majestic. He's all powerful. And there's nothing that he cannot do. That they may know that there is nothing that you cannot do. Sovereign Lord. We give you the glory. We give you the honor and the praise. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Amen and amen. I believe that God, not only is he going to reveal and fulfill his promises, but he's also going to reveal to you personally how much he loves you. How much he loves you. And he's going to catapult you into another level of wisdom and understanding spiritually. And it's very important that you, he reveals those things to you for what is to come next. So God bless you and I love you with the love of Christ. Take care of yourself and happy bank holiday from me here in England. Take care. Bye-bye.